Hey guys and guys, welcome. Patrick Precourt here with this week's Friday Coffee Break. Great to see you guys as always. Hey listen, I had another wonderful question sent in to us this week. And I do encourage you to send in your questions. You can even just comment in this video with your questions. But the question is based around kind of an ugly cycle that I think we all go through at some time. Um, and oftentimes we repeat it and it goes like this. You know, we get all excited, amped up, motivated, pumped to start something new to get something going on whether it be a diet whether it be like a new job or business venture or whatever it may be we get so excited to do it and then we start it and then we start procrastinating and then we stop doing it and then we get frustrated then we quit and then we get all down on ourselves so we bring ourselves to such a poor spot where it takes longer and longer to recover then finally we drag ourselves back up on our feet again and we repeat and you and I both know the longer we do this and repeat this same cycle well the more likely it is that we'll never break the cycle so I, what I'd like to share with you is a few questions that I, that I go through and I, I, I have used these for many many years and it allows me to snap out of this while it's happening not having to wait for this crash because usually you know we usually don't see real change fundamental change or what a lot of you know gurus talk about as transformational change until either we've reached a point of really elated inspiration or really low desperation and what these two or these three questions i'm going to share with you do they bring you through um kind of a, a little mind play here so we can get to those points now and not have to wait for them to manifest themselves where they do some harm to us you don't have to wait to a real point of desperation to create change. You can kind of make it happen now. So it goes like this. We all know what we should be doing. We don't need more knowledge of how to do it or what to do. And as a matter of fact, if I asked you to write down on a piece of paper, you know, one or two things you know in your life you should be doing, or if you think that you shouldn't be doing, you could write them down. We all know what they are. We're just not carrying through. So the question that I want to ask yourself is, if I continue this behavior of either doing what I'm not supposed to be doing, or if I don't do what I'm supposed to be doing, how does that manifest itself in your life? How does it affect you personally, your self-confidence, your self-worth? How does it affect your relationships with a spouse or a boyfriend or girlfriend or kids or working relationships? How does it affect your bank account? How does it affect your spirituality? How does it affect your passion for life? You know darn well these are all very much tied together. And this is where we really start understanding the gravity of the real value or cost of continuing behaviors that we shouldn't be doing or not beginning certain habits or, or, or exercise that we should be doing. All right, so that's number one. Number two is the other end. When you do begin your physical workout and your proper eating habits, when you do begin your constant steady marketing to generate leads, when you do begin your uh, daily effort to reach out to other people and network on a regular basis, create new relationships, when you begin all of this, how is that going to affect your life? How is that going to affect your self-confidence, your self-worth, the way you see and feel about yourself? How's that gonna affect your bank account over time? Your professional status? Start bringing it to your place to understand the value of doing what it is you know you should be doing. And then this last question, and this is the deep one, this is the big one, and this is the one that really holds us to a high level of personal accountability, okay? This is the one that we can't hide from. Well, listen to this clearly, okay? And it's the same question that I start every conversation with when I work with new clients. It's very simple. How much longer are you going to choose to accept your current circumstances? How much longer are you going to choose to accept your current circumstances? And I'll add one more piece to that, okay? We all have a story. And a story usually explains why we can't when we really should be doing. And the question is simple. How much longer are you going to continue selling your story? 
You guys are awesome. Thanks for listening. Look forward to hearing back from you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them uh, beneath this video. And I'll see you here at the same time next week. Cheers. Patrick Precourt. This week's FridayCoffeeBreak.com. Peace.